Google just released their DSA resource from where you can actually learn data structures and algorithms. And for those of you who don't know why to learn data structures and algorithms, let me give you an overview of why. Here in Quora, you can see that all the fan companies are going to ask questions about data structures and algorithms, which means it is unlikely that Fang, which is going to be our meta, or formerly Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, these companies would stop asking data structure and algorithm questions in their interviews. So if you want to crack an interview from one of the fan companies, you got to have to learn data structures and algorithms. Now, the big question is, why would you want a job there? So as you can see, their basic salaries with the entry level one year experience is way much better than any company out there. And they have the best workspace experience and are the market leaders, just like Apple here, Amazon, Google, and Netflix. Now, that was just why you should learn DSA and why FANG. Let's say you're done with the Google's data structures resource. What you can do is you can come here to Google careers and you can actually select your experience. You can even select the locations and you can select the degree, the job types and different types of filters. And then you can actually look for jobs over at Google in different locations. And notice that most of the computer related jobs are going to have this data structures and algorithms requirement written in their minimum qualifications. Now that was just one spot there. There are tons of different opportunities over at Google, but what they require of you is good skills and a good understanding of DSA, which is a must for someone who wants to work in computer science. And if you want more detail about any of the fan companies interview, I have this great article from Code Mentor Community and Kishan Kumar Patil. He's a software development engineer at Amazon and he has put his experience into words of how was his interview with Amazon, one of the fan companies, and the details about the interview. And you can give it a read if you're really interested about it, and you actually want to land a job in one of the fan companies. Now, that was enough with the overview and the introduction. Let's get back to the main topic, which is Google's new data structure and algorithm resource, which is available over at their tech dev guide. And I must mention, there were always content available on DSA on different platforms like here on Coursera, you can see there are tons and tons of different courses for DSA and Coursera is not the only platform, of course. There were so many more courses available for DSA over at Udemy as well. But why would you choose this new resource? Well, of course, firstly, Google is one of the fan companies itself, so they know much better about what they want. And the second thing is the way this course is designed. I mean, I absolutely love the way the topics have been placed. If I zoom in, you can see that there are topics like maps and dictionary. There's linked lists, trees, stacks and queues, heaps. There are graphs, there are runtime analysis, there's searching and sorting and recursion in DP. Now, I must mention that all of these topics are independent of each other, which means that you can learn in whichever order you want to. But Google thought about it really well and placed the topics in a really great order because most of the people jump to graphs or stacks and queues in the start, which is in my point of view, not really good because you're not that much comfortable with the concepts of DSA and you just jump to the graphs. So I think graphs should be learned later on when you're comfortable enough with the concepts. There is this stereotype conception that DSA is language oriented. No, DSA is non language oriented and you can learn DSA in pretty much any language. But for this resource, Google offers Java, C++, Python, and JavaScript in which you can actually learn DSA because DSA, which is a concept of how data structures and algorithms work, not actually something that is dependent over at any language. I hope I was able to clarify this misconception or stereotype. So that was the overview of the topics and the languages you can assess this resource in. But one more thing that I find really attractive about this resource is that if you go to any of these topics, let's say this link list topic, you're going to see that you're going to get a video in which you're going to get the theory. Then you're going to get an interactive tutorial. And then you're going to get a coding question, which is for me the most important part, because I'm going to learn how to think about resolving a real life problem, a real life coding question. And after you're done with that, and you can actually go and attempt a quiz, whether you got the concepts right. If I click on any of these coding questions, you can see that there is a whole section of coding questions and you can actually choose any of these questions and start working on it and developing the code for these problems. And there's just not this much. There are 65 different problems that you can solve and polish your skill. And I don't want to actually drag this out, but 
I highly recommend if you really want to land a job in one of the flying companies, you should actually go and give this resource a good look. And one more thing that I want to mention is that Google Tech Dev Guide has different collections. Just like if you click on the collections tab here, you can see that there are resources for foundations of programming. You can actually go with the interview prep and you can start preparing for the interview, which is mind blowing. So once you're done with your data structures and algorithms, you can give your interview prep a go. And with that, I will wrap this video up. I hope I was able to cover all the aspects of this resource that Google just launched and why should you care about this. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Subscribe to SkillCurve for latest updates on new cutting edge technologies. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.